Post up. Spin, double team. Shot clock a problem now. Blocked. Lead pass. Jonas will stretch. Blocked by Pingris. Freeman keeps it alive and collects the foul as well. Now San Miguel doing the running. San Miguel getting the offensive rebound and finishing it off well. A while ago we were just talking in the three-point lead. Oh, oh yes. Now it's San Miguel in the lead. <laughs> Bilis ng swing ng pendulum. Roger Yap collecting that foul in that sequence. And as you had correctly pointed out, Dr. J, it's now San Miguel by a point. About a minute and seven left to play. Uh, medyo hindi maganda laro ni dalawang Yap dito so far in the first half. But that could drastically improve in the second half. Yeah? Yep, you're, um, you're right about that. They've been groping for their form here. It's been Pingris, Artadi, and uh, others who have kept the fire alive for B-Men that needs the win here today. They give a foul to Archiveros, his first. Free throw shots coming up here for Tony Washam. Only has nine points in the ball game, but the other game he only had 12. Or 12 or 13, I'm not really sure. I think 12. Was he one of those imports waiting in the wings for a chance to play here in the PBA? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it was a late decision uh, when teams uh, were in the end trying to look for uh, changes. No? But uh, the one that is from that may replace Daniels eventually, Omar Sneed, has been there since February, ready uh -huh. uh, for a while, since March. Here his name is Omar Sharif, then he has a last name. Sneed. No, oh. Sneed. His father must have been a fan of the actor. Yeah. Watch <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Dr. Shivago. Dr. Shivago. Famous idol to see Peter O'Toole. I like Omar Sharif. Mm -hmm. Good actor. Passed away a couple of years back. Never won an Oscar. When they gave him an honorary Oscar, he said, I will continue to look for that Oscar. In the meantime, 42 to 41, as we have uh, Kenya. Never been his strong suit, but from, he has got pretty good form. Kulang lang talaga sa lakas ng that last uh, shot. Parang na ubus sa sa babae. Eh. Ang kanya nga, kasi walang power from the legs. Eh. Always. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The big break here for the uh, Beermen as they continue to have possession of the ball. Yamados ahead slightly with 28.7 seconds remaining. Go ahead basket. That's what San Miguel is searching for. Oh, look at that pick by Freeman. Banging bodies now downstairs. Ball rolls away. Shot clock coming down to 15. Differential of about 4 seconds. Running pass. London looking for the cutter. Goes to Arwen. Long distance call. Nobody home. You're and Peña is a ray. <laughs> Just a race Rivas in the scene. And since they're in the penalty, Rivas will go back to the free throw line. Benya with his second, and Mr. Rivas takes that long walk to the other side for a pair of charities. Still a lot of time left in the second quarter, 8.2 seconds. Really, yes. we're just doing well, huh? Five out of five in this quarter, and all of them were all net. Dead center left. Naglinis ng baril ito. Good substitution here because uh, you put in Joseph Yo, you know, 8.2. If he makes this or you get the rebound, you still have plenty of chance yep. for San Miguel to get off a decent shot. This is for the breakaway train attempt. Now Joseph's the one who got the pass, so he'll be going. To one place. And one place alone, but he opts the pass of Hontiveros, who scoops it up. It'll slowly, gently drop in. Great substitution. Yeah. Because if that created the inertia for that one. Derbier still with their heads above the shoreline. By that much, 44 to 43, yes. 
we zoom away from the giant scoreboard here. And Madhu Marjan will chat with Olsen Rosella. And we are with Olsen Rosella. Olsen, your team came out flat. Uh, and you guys trailed by double digits early on. Pagpasok mo, tsaka ni the Ninja. You guys re-energize your group. Do you think that everybody's on the same page at this point of the game? Well, ano yun there? We started out slow. So it's up to the best to bring in some energy. Uh, yun yung ginawa ko. And uh, natural tendency when you're up 3-1, medyo relax eh. But, uh, yeah nga, ako, as the leader of this team, I make it the point na medyo taas yung energy. And uh, buti na kaabal kami. How tough is it going to be to close out against a team like B-Mega here in the second half? Um, it, it's really tough. Uh, they've been in this uh, situation before, but um, we're on a mission. So, un, 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 until you win that uh, fourth, uh, until you get that fourth win, di matapos yung series. Eh. So, yun ang, yun ang goal namin for this game. Thank you for your time, Olsen, and good luck in the second half. Uh, Dr. J will be breaking down the first half together with Sir Sev after News Watch. Here's Octiveros, open look. Yes, sir! Number of Tiveros with a big basket! Well, San Miguel Pin will have a commanding 3-1 series lead. A hard-earned victory here. Guys, we're going to eat We got to make sure we play good defense. Hey, look at the score. They're practically giving it to us. But we have to take it. Huh? We can go after it. Outside, James Yap fakes, James Yap fires, yes sir! Alright, they're playing all Filipino, this is the time, let's go! A tough uphill climb now, but it's a B make their BA. Bodies flying all over the place. Huh? Look at that chest, the chest, huh? Huh? Excellent work of our production team to get into the huddles and get into the raw emotion that's going on through this series. This first half, Dr. J, was a mercurial kind of first half, a roller coaster kind of first half. Both teams had their runs and both established double digit leads, but they disappeared just as quickly. Well, San Miguel almost went to sleep for a while there, uh, not scoring for almost six minutes and allowing uh, b to establish a big 11 point lead. b should be happy at halftime because they have scored over 20 points in two quarters actually 23 and 21 and their scoring did not come from their guard line not from the one twos and threes actually it came from their forwards and their center and the percentages better for BMEG today at 46 percent they've been hovering at about 38 San Miguel at 43 percent no points from three-point territory San Miguel already has five so that's 15 points right there rebounds better in the sense that uh, San Miguel only has a three-point advantage, yes. better if you're in the B-Meg side, and a little bit more turnovers on the part of the beer men. We underscored the rebounds because it was a concern for B-Meg going into this game, and Dr. J is absolutely correct, not the usual suspects for scoring for the Yamados. Look at that, previous leads them with 13, certainly not the guy you'd be expecting to do that. Also a lot of free throw shots for him, Washam with 10. Fingers with eight. Freeman started like house on fire, but only finished with ten at the end of the second quarter. What do you anticipate going into the second half? Well, Let's start uh, your, your choice. Well, I think yeah, the Yaps are going to come out and really explode, and maybe Canileta can help. But that is for San Miguel now to respond to that situation. Now let's see what kind of uh, cards San Miguel will play with going into the second half. You know, again, we point out that... Uh, Closing up, never the easiest thing to do, but San Miguel has been in the finals record 30 times, winning 18 titles. Well, if you've been the only, you're the only remaining pioneering team, I guess. You should have uh, a lot more championships. Yep. And they've always, uh, you know, they've always come on with a very strong team. That was a hard move to the basket there. And again, Pingris has played excellent defense tonight, as well as scoring. Excellent observation on the energy that Pingris has brought to the BMAC game and also Nocella in his interview was talking of matching that energy with players coming off the bench courtesy of him of course and uh, not necessarily mentioning his name and then Joseph Yo, they wanted to respond by matching the energy of the Yamadas. Well, it, just in case you forgot, uh, Mark Pingris with San Miguel last year yes, and he, went a, he won a championship with them. So obviously he's a very important card to any team. Oh yes. 
You want a player like that. All he does is get rebounds, plays defense, but he's scoring here also today. Corner, here comes Santos. Letting Washam go by. And Santos drills in the three that gives San Miguel a two-point edge. And Santos has collected six. Looking inside is Rivas. Dr. J correct about the fact that James Yap has not gotten going yet. Pounded with three personal fouls. Arwin Santos doing a dribbling drill. Kabagnot does not like the options. Sets it, sends it rather outside. Let's go half court here. Kabagnot has learned how to do that in the years that he has played here in the BBA. When he was starting out, he seemed to be a little more gung-ho than usual. Trying to make a name for himself, of course. It's a little more... Uh, I, I, you used the line the other night, Dr. J. Discretion being the other better part of Valor most of the time. Yeah, because he's a scorer. No? James Shaft and Roger Yap just really terrible with their offensive game. Yeah. James missing the, the ring completely in that shot of his. No? And That's, so something, mm -hmm. That's something you see every day from uh, every game from uh, James Shaft. Yes. San Miguel trying to be patient, trying to swing the ball around. Santos hit one there earlier, not on this trip. You know, but if James just explodes, then obviously uh, oh, yes. the crowd here that favors the uh, Bineg Lamados, they're going to be very happy. Good block again by Arvin Santos, <laughs> but Washam not giving up. And Washam decided to use a bit, little of body action there to create the space. And it is knotted at 46. Glad you're with us. Uh, if you, you just got in the home, uh, from office or uh, from uh, school, Glad you're with us watching the PBA on Solar TV as this is launched by Freeman. No connection. Downstairs, Santos thought about it. Under the basket we go. Short. Jumping high as Freeman collects the rebound and it is San Miguel by two. Well, Freeman is a completely different type of player than Washam. He's got a lot of energy. He likes to score close to the basket. And if you don't stop him, he's going to do that. There again is another rebound for the for the most valuable import last year. No, and a breakaway there by San Miguel. And after a tie at 46, two quick hits by the Beermen gives them the lead they have right now at four. San Miguel lo looking to close out this series, go to the finals, and just wait. Kung sino magiging kalaban nila, dahil that one will have to go at least two more games. Yes, eh? indeed. That's currently tied at two apiece. Uh, Stock and Tex buried Alaska the last time around. Cross inside, watch him creating. Good block by Rivas. Clean Good and block. clean, clean. But you, if you notice, San Miguel is the one stepping up the tempo. They're the oh, ones yes. running because they're the ones who have the rebounds and they're the ones who are able to create the fast break opportunity. If this was a tennis match, Dr. J, kitang kita yung gusto ng gawin ng BMEC, at least here at the top of this second half while on the other hand San Miguel has been able to hide its shots getting points from everywhere especially from that man and we're going to take a full timeout an opportunity for BMEC to sort out things San Miguel has just uncorked the 92 scoring run but fingers not to be denied inside he has a 10 point game well, uh, immediate timeout called there by Ryan Gregorio after the 6 to nothing run. And Roger Yap just really is not into this game. So he brings back Artadi, who's the leading scorer among the guards here with 6. Jay Wash pockets that one from the 15-foot line. And Artadi seems to provide that energy that uh, they're looking for right here. Let's see if it will extend over to this third quarter. So, parang wala na rin leg si Roger at saka si James the way they're bigat, no? uh, Maybe they're really tired. Maybe they're injured. We don't know, no? Washington tried to create some opening inside the turnaround shot. Nothing. That one won't fall in. And... 
He just got tagged there. Let's send it first to Magoo. Earlier at the half, BMAC assistant George Gallant told us that they want to lessen their turnovers and, of course, lessen San Miguel's second chance points. And while they went 0 for 4 from the three point line in the first half, that's okay with him as they have gotten already 15 free throw attempts in that first half alone. They also got to do a better job with their ball reversal to keep San Miguel's defense on their toes. Over at the other side for San Miguel, assistant coach Giabanilla wants or tells us they want a defense first type of mentality here in the second half and that their early lead in the first quarter probably hurt them more hopefully they've recruited enough and involved their bigs here in the second half Seb? interesting contrast between the coaching sides james Shep had a great maneuver but 